Hey YouTube, I'm back for another review. Sorry I had to do it by phone because this is too large of an item to actually do by computer. And good luck getting these right now from Lowe's. They do have them. But I don't know if they're going to have them in your state or town. But here around Finley, Ohio area, they don't. We check tip from three miles all over. Perrysburg only had one left. We had an auto order through the Finley Low store, but it wouldn't have been here until about the 10th or after because they're on back order. Because the girl told me these moving carts are so goddamn popular where they're about 60 some dollars a piece. She said they're even a higher, higher sellers than the goddamn 100 and some dollar Milwaukee's that Rick bought, which I cannot see paying that price. If you're a big mover's helper and moving people all the time, I can see it, but not just one time and off and on thing. This here's a Costco, and the bait, they make also kid stuff too, like car seats. Smart by design, it's a two in one folding hand truck cart. Heavy duty, 300 pound durable. And I know it, it does good because my wife. It was over 200, and I leaned her back on it, and it didn't even bend her nothing. <laughs> it's tool free conversion, easy, folding flat, you can, easy. Hell, I can slide it in the back seat. And it's backed by a five year limited warranty, 300 pound loading capacity. And the company is by Durrell Home and Office Products, made in Vietnam. And here's the instructions. Kind of what it looks like in the back, guys. Um, we tested this with some boxes laying as a cart and upright. And yes, before anybody makes a smart ass comment, you should have bought higher price for a better quality. No, this is um, tell you the truth, Lowe's, all the Lowe's stores said these sound bitches are selling hotter than the freaking Milwaukee or any other leading brand. <laughs> And I do have good experience with Costco, even though if they did have some of their children's shit like strollers and uh, stuff like that on recall. Um, I've not heard nothing bad about these. It's a two-wheel hand truck, stands upright, or you can lay it down as a four-wheel cart. And it does have smooth ball bearing gliding wheels. You can tell in your ball bearings, lock nuts, and everything. You get it open, you have to kind of pull the wheel down. They're spring loaded, okay? They're spring loaded, you can tell. Aim the camera for Lacey. Spring loaded. Um, and there's a bit of a trick to this. It goes like that, okay? What are you doing to my phone? Keep I, finger no, up. I go in and out. On oh, okay, cool. A little bit closer. I don't want my camera to mess. This is the hand truck and stuff cart, okay? This is a flatbed, as they would call it. And you take a push these yellow levers like this. I'm doing it on a bed so I can do it. You push these yellow levers in like so. Flip up the blue lever. Lock it underneath of the front yellow lever. Okay. And it will stand like this because you can get it up and down. It's pretty high and rugged, and I like how they got this curvature design handle. That's a neat way of doing it, so don't put too much pressure on it. It has the pressure points in here, so that's a good flex bend, because I have worked with metal and steel, um, and aluminum, of course. They do welding. So that's a nice curvature design, and it's also designed, too, a lot of people don't know, for bad backs like what we got. The foot part of it, if you can lean it down, goes in and out like so okay and these has nice as i call them like grocery cart wheels on them the well the ones right there he just spit a lot of the stuff is riveted but you do have phillip head screws in some areas and some lock nuts if you ever have to tighten right. you know the foot ones that he just spit at the bottom they have hard plastic on the inside soft plastic on the outside the low ones is all hard plastic. Yeah. Wheels. With metal right here. 
with metal casters. Metal casters, but the front was all uh, the plastic, hard plastic on the inside, and when soft you do plastic this, on the outside. You just lever up, tilt it back until it locks into the next lever. Right here, you guys go. Or you can have this up too. I use as a blocker. Now me, I would use this as a blocker because if it's down, so if you ain't got something strapped right or something comes loose, it might slide this away. Mm -hmm. When you're going like up a ramp, like a U-Haul for say, like what we're gonna get. So I definitely use that as a blocker and this as a blocker. The only possible way it could go would be this way and if the straps are in this way, like you're supposed to put them this way, some do it this way. It'll keep these as guards. And this side is guards. I'd recommend putting the straps over one side to the other, left to the right. But yeah, I would definitely, definitely. And this is sturdy. Jesus Christ, is this sturdy. Look at that. I'm strong as a goddamn ox, so I can't even bend it. And it's got Costco and branded right here. And you know if it's made by Costco, it has to be good. Cause I've had baby strollers by a company, got in car seats back in the day. Even different things. They even Costco, have never it. Had no problem. They even have it right there. And if you push these are the levers here. If you push this button right here, it folds the handle back down. Yeah, like that. And it's easy to store. Look at that. And the wheels do lock, as you can tell. They're spring loaded. And them are good hinges. But this is my new two in one Costco folding hand truck cart. Okay. Back in the day, we known these as refrigerator carts. But these hey. are the way they're building them now. If you want to show them a sample, put Logos chair on there. Yeah, like for instance, okay, if this weighed a lot, a lot of pounds, I couldn't carry it. All right, like for instance, my toolbox. Look at that. And it pulls real easy. I know it looks funny on the bed, but that's the best way to demonstrate it. I mean, it does work. And it does hold the weight because my wife... Or my mom and dad, I got some of my tools stored over there, like my big sockets, wrenches, big boxes. She laid them this way and pulled it. It worked beautiful, and she put it upright, and it worked beautiful. But this is a nice cart. The cats got us for our early Christmas. Thanks, guys, for the cart. Me and Lacey couldn't buy each other much of shares because the apartment comes first. The place comes before anything. We will get our stimulus checks and we'll buy each other Chromebooks. If it's late, it's late. If it ain't, it ain't. But, right there, guys. I wish you the best of luck of getting these in your low store. If you have to order them online, do it and it will be on back order. Or try to look the zip code up and look at every low store in your area to see if they got one. If they do, what I would do is order it real quick. Call the low store. Ask them to hold it. Because there's one thing about that. There's confusion with online orders sometimes. I've seen it. Where the Lowell's employees gets ahead of themselves. Forget about it. It's on order. And somebody just walks through the aisle. Sees it. Oh, picks it up. And their item's gone. Then they don't have to refund you. So I just kind of watched on my wife before we went to Perrysburg. And wasted the gas in this high wind we got right now. Which is why my phone's going off after the video ends. Um... Is I, cause I told her that truck, I said, you ordered it, but you fucking call them before we had that far up north, about 35 miles north of where I live at in Perrysburg, Ohio, on US Route 20 to get it. And she texted me back, said, she called me on video, said, yep, it's, they're holding it. The uh, kid just pulled it off the shelf and handed it to the worker, and it was marked for Lacey. Yup, the kid, when I called, they kept switching me I around. I recommend it, guys. And they put me back to where they are, and the kids checked out them numbers, said, I have it right here in my hand. I'm like, that's for my, me, 
and he just had two people there and just hand it over. And I'm not being a wise ass against the rich or nothing, but if you tell it just looks too cheap, too flimsy, don't buy the story because he wants you to spend more for stuff because he always told me, you spend more, you get better quality. Sometimes that might be true, but if you're on a fixed income like what we are, I buy what I can afford and what I know is good. And he, know Costco's good. I'll swear by the brand. I'll swear and on And buying stone too. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. It depends. And I've uh, bought expensive shit already and it fucking failed. Just push that. Yeah, and there's a metal tab in there you just push where it folds. And the wheel's locked. And that fits right in your trunk. Your back seat of your car. And I believe me, my Kia Ain't very he big. can right now. I can slide it right in the goddamn seat of the car. Right now, if he wants to, let walk walk over to the fridge. All right, never mind the mess, guys. We're still packing. Just slide that one box, Walmart box up. Which one, right here. Slide this one Walmart box over. But I'm gonna show you something. Hang on, let me turn the catch light on for you guys. Right. You flip this light here. I'm longer on than you are. Right here. There's boxes here. Just let me move them. Because there's some boxes. Let me the cart for now. Boxes right now. Oh, sorry, guys. I dropped it. Damn it. But. I, out of my hand. I know it's like boxes. But right here, if he moves, grab some this stuff if you want. Just yeah, I'll do all that later. I just want to get the video done, babe. I know, but you're going to have to move that get over. Because that's tip because of that box. Yeah. She makes it more harder than it is, I think. No, I'm trying to do this. but you make... to do stuff before the video starts. <sighs> just grab that stuff out and yeah. show them. I know, it will slide back in here. This is where we going to store it right now, right? There's a little spot right there. Yep. Once he falls up. You just gotta be careful because the wheels will fly and they pinch my fingers twice. So you gotta be careful not to try to put your fingers behind the caster. I just told him. So right now, get out the way. Right there. Easy storage. But thanks for watching. I recommend it. If anybody gets on your channel and says, This is Rick. You gotta buy it. A Milwaukee for a hundred and some dollars. Don't do it. Get the one I got. Get the one I told you to get. It's a space saver. Easy to use. You shouldn't need nothing more than three, four hundred pounds minimum. And you may say three hundred. It could go a little over. It depends on how good the material is. <laughs> but I hope you like this video. Always like, subscribe, comment. And do me one little favor. Ring that notification bell, please. Select all. Leave any comments down below if you've used these Costco's and how well you like them or don't like them. I love it. If it makes my life more easier to move and I instead of putting one box at a time on the goddamn truck, I could put multiples. You know. But anyhow, no haters, trolls, cyberbullying, it could be black spam or reporter, and no hackers. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do the rest of my vlogs on my uh, computer. Talk to you later. Bye.